Hundred fourth session of the Nebraska legislature is called to order today, and 18 new Nebraska lawmakers officially begin work. Already, one of them is trying to make his presence known. KATV News Watch Evans Andrew Ozaki reports from Lincoln. From the opening gavel to the swearing in of senators who won election, including 17 new ones. Congratulations. It took little time for one of the freshman senators, Brent Lindstrom of Omaha, to test the unicameral waters. I realize that a newly elected member of the legislature does not usually run for chairmanship. However, we are in a unique circumstance of having 18 new members of the body. And due to term limits, we must take on leadership roles. Lindstrom, a Republican, came a single vote short of beating Jeremy Nordquist, a Democrat also from Omaha, for the chair of the legislature's retirement committee. Lindstrom says he ran because of his background in investments and doesn't know if the close vote signals a conservative swing in the nonpartisan body. Whether or not my election was, a, was a, an indication of that, we'll see. Time will tell. The first day, uh, you just never know. Lawmakers elected Galen Hadley over fellow Republican Colby Coash for Speaker of the Legislature, retained Heath Mello, a Democrat, as Appropriations Chair, and selected Bob Christ as Executive Board Chair, Les Siler as Judiciary Chair, and Mike Glore Grand Island to lead the Revenue Committee. So I don't think you can read into uh, anything into those. I don't think it, uh, any shift in the, in the body. The newly elected speaker says he's impressed with the new crop of lawmakers, saying they bring maturity and experience to the table and apparently aren't hesitant about making their presence known. A sense of urgency to what we're trying to do uh, because of term limits. Uh, we're only here for eight years. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7. Now, Papillion Senator Bill Kintner says he's going to push to do away with secret ballots for leadership positions in the legislature, making senators' votes public. Tomorrow, Pete Ricketts becomes the next governor of Nebraska. He's going to take the oath at 1.30, then present his inaugural address. We'll have it all for you live on KETV.com.